Hi folks, we're going to take a look at a particular type of question uh, solving a system of equations. Now, so far we've tried to avoid fractions uh, anytime we're solving a system of equations, but what if the system itself contains a whole bunch of fractions like this one does here? Uh, we could try to work with it through substitution or elimination uh, as it is, or we can use an old trick that we saw earlier in the year. And what we did was we multiplied both sides of the equation by a number that would eliminate all the denominators uh, that we see in the equation. So what number could we multiply to both sides of the equation 1 that would eliminate both the um, denominator 3 and the denominator 4? And we realized, well, if we took the uh, lowest common multiple, in other words, 12, or the lowest common denominator, uh, and multiplied that to both sides, it would eliminate the uh, denominator 3 here and the denominator 4 there. Take a look at the second equation. What would we multiply uh, both uh, sides of the equation by? And we realize that if we multiplied everything by 4, it would eliminate all the denominators. So before we even start solving the system, we clear out all the denominators. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 12 and I'm going to multiply equation 4, uh, sorry, 2 by 4. Okay, so let's start. Equation 1 will now become, well, if I multiply 12 times x over 3, 3 and 12 simplify to 4, so I end up with 4x. Here, 12 and 4 simplify to 3, so minus 3y. And then, of course, I have to multiply both sides of the equation. 12 times 3 is 36. And then equation 2 will now become, well, 4 times a half. That's 2x. 4 times 3 quarters, well, the 4s cancel out, so I'm just left with the minus 3y. And here, the 4 and the 2 simplify to 2, so 2 times 3 is 6. And now what I have is a much easier system of equations to deal with. Now, this actually turned out to be quite a nice system of equations because I have the same coefficient in front of the y's. So since I already have the same coefficient, I just have to decide, am I going to add or subtract the two equations? And since the signs are the same, I'm going to subtract the equations. Okay, so again, don't forget, put your brackets around the second equation just to make sure you remember to subtract all terms. So here we have 4x minus 2x, there's 2x. Here we have negative 3 minus negative 3, or negative 3 plus 3y. So that's equal to 0. We've uh, eliminated the y variable. And here 36 minus 6 is equal to 30. And so now we can easily solve for x. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay. And now we'll uh, insert this into one of the equations. Now instead of inserting it into the equation with the fractions, let's use the ones where we've cleared out the fractions. And I take a look here and it looks like equation 2 is going to be the simpler one. So I'm going to take equation 2 here and anywhere I see an x, I'm just going to replace that by 15. So 2 times 15 minus 3y is equal to 6. So I'm going to, it's negative 3y, let's bring it to the right to make it positive, and here I have 2 times 15 is 30, and then plus 6 becomes minus 6, so 3y equals 24, and y is 24 over 3, which is 8. And so now I have my answer, and the solution is x equals 15, and y equals 8. Okay, but this turned out to be an easy question because right off the bat, I got rid of all the denominators in my fractions. Uh, so please keep that in mind when you're solving a system of equations that contains fractions.